They work for you, you work for me. Let them go. Oh, 
of your conscience, my boy, and chance the consequences. Yeah. Besides, we can offer you little temptation to remain with us. We can't seem to make tires and pay. I'm sure I don't right. know why, but we don't. <laughs> well, uh, I know why, but I really shouldn't say it. It, it wouldn't be right. <laughs> Speak up. It is only 11.30, and you are one of us until the clock strikes 12. Uh -huh. uh, true, and until then, you are bound It's my duty to inform you that, um, you're all too tender-hearted. Oh, sorry, Tom! <laughs> you make it a point of never attacking a weaker party than yourselves. And then when you turn around and attack a stronger party, you get thrashed. Hey. There is some truth in that. Also make it a point of never burdening or harming an orphan. We are orphans ourselves and know what it is! Yes, but it's not about! And what is the consequence? <laughs> Everyone we capture says they're an orphan! The last three ships we took were manned entirely by orphans! <laughs> One would think the Queen's entire navy was recruited solely from the orphan asylums, and we know this is not the case. Well, hang it all, you wouldn't have us absolutely merciless, would you? There's my difficulty. Until 12 o'clock, I would. After 12, I wouldn't. If was ever a man placed in such a delicate situation. And what of Ruth? Your own Ruth, whom you love so well, and who has won her middle-aged way into your boyish heart. <laughs> what is to become of her? Oh, he will take you with him! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I adore you very much, but I've been at sea since I was eight years old, and yours is the only woman's face I've seen at that time. I think it is a sweet face. Oh, it is! It is! Yeah, that is to say, I think it is. But whereas I've never seen another woman's face to compare yours with, it's very possible I could be mistaken. <laughs> True. <laughs> what a terrible thing it would be if I were to wed this innocent person and find that she's on the whole, um, just plain. <laughs> plain? Ruth? No, no. Ruth is very... well? <laughs> Ruth is very well indeed. Oh, yeah. oh yes, there are the remains of a fine woman about Ruth. Yes. Do you really think so? Oh, yes, I do. Well, then, uh, I shall not be so heartless as to take her from you. In justice to her and consideration to all of you, I shall leave her behind. Oh. Oh. <laughs> no, Frederick, no, this cannot be. We are rough men. Rough! Who lead a rough life. Rough, rough! rough. But we are not so utterly heartless as to deprive thee of thy love. I do not think that there is one here who would rob thee of this inestimable treasure for all the world holds dear. <laughs> not one! No, I thought there wasn't. Keep thy love, Frederick. Keep thy love? <laughs> You're very good, I'm sure. Well, it's the top of the tide and we must be off. Farewell, Frederick. When your process of extermination begins, let our deaths be as swift and painless as you might make them. They will be. By the love I have for you, I swear it. 
Would that you could render this extermination unnecessary by accompanying me back to civilization. No, Frederick. This cannot be. Although I do not think much of our profession, contrasted with respectability, it is comparatively honest. <laughs> no, Frederick. I shall live and die a pirate king! <laughs> Oh, bet so far to live and die Under the brave black flag I fly Then play a sanctimonious part With a pirate head and a pirate heart Away to the cheating world go you Where pirates all are well to do But I'll stay true to the song I sing And live and die a pirate for I am a pirate king, and it is, it is a glorious thing to be a pirate king, for I am a pirate king. You are a rock of the pirate king, and it is, it is a glorious thing to be a pirate king. It is a rock of the pirate king, a rock of the pirate king. I help myself in a royal way. I sink a few more ships, it's true, than a well-bred monarch ought to do. <laughs> but many a king on a first-class throne, if he wants to call his crown his own, must manage somehow to get through more dirty work than ever I for I am a pirate king, and it is, it is a glorious thing to be a pirate king, for I am a pirate king. You are a rock of the pirate king, and it is, it is a glorious thing to be a pirate king. It is a rock of the pirate king, a rock of the pirate king. I wish to do the right thing, and if, I, I say, 
If you are a truly fine woman, age shall be no obstacle to our union. <laughs> I'm hearing voices, man. <laughs> no, these are real. <laughs> Who is dead to approach her all but an accessible lamp? Could it be the Coast Guard? No, well, that's the wrong optic for the Coast Guard. <laughs> Where the willows quiver by the ever-rolling 
Especially, remember, poor Papa's not as young as we are. And we climb to a rather difficult country. But how thoroughly delightful it is to be so entirely alone. Why, in all probability, we are the first human beings who have ever set foot on this enchanting swamp. <laughs> Except the mermaids. It is the very place for mermaids. Who are only human beings down to the waist. <laughs> and can be said strictly to set foot anywhere. <laughs> We take off our shoes <laughs> and our uh, stockings <laughs> and have <laughs> This is the very thing! <laughs> Stop, ladies, pray! <gasps> oh, man! <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> I cannot intrude myself upon you, know, isn't this effective? But alarming costume. <laughs> Circumstances, it is my duty to inform you that your proceedings will not go unwitnessed. But who are you? So speak. I am a pirate. A pirate! <laughs> Ladies, do not shun me. <laughs> this evening I renounce my vile confession. And to that end, oh pure and fearless maiden. Oh, blushing birds of I saw it hard, I saw it hard. Implore your kind assistance. How
<laughs> not one. No, no. Yes, yes, let's talk about the weather. 
exceeding beauty. How beautifully blue the sky, the grass is rising very high. Continue on, I hope that they and yet to bring but yesterday, tomorrow and then for again. I hear the country wants some rain, yet people say, I don't know why, but we shall have one more with us tomorrow and then for again. I hear the country wants some rain, yet people say, I don't know why, but we shall have one more with us tomorrow and then for again. She can never fly with Men who stick at no offenses will anon be here. Piracy, that dreadful trade is. Pray you get to handsome ladies while the coast is clear. No, we must not lose our senses. If they stick at no offenses, we should not be here. Piracy, the dreadful trade is. Nice companions for you ladies. Let us do so. Yes, that infernal water's thin 
Surprises, I'm more wary yet, and when I know precisely what is meant by commissariat, when I have learned what progress has been made in modern gallery, when I know more of packets than a novice in a nunnery, in short, when I'm a smattering of elemental strategy. <laughs> you say a better major general is never strategy. You say a better major general is never strategy. You say a better major general is never strategy. You say a better major general is never strategy. Oh, my military numbers do I'm plucky and adventury Has only been my turn at the beginning of the century Still in my vegetable, animal, and mineral I'm the very model of a modern nature general Still in my vegetable, animal, and mineral He is the very model of a modern nature general Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Yes, yes, very impressive, but can you do it really fast? <laughs>
I ask you, have you ever known what it is to be an orphan? And you say, orphan. As I understand you, you are merely repeating the word orphan to show that you understand me. <laughs> but I didn't repeat the word orphan. Pardon me, you did indeed. But I only repeated it once. True, but you repeated it. But not often! <laughs> I think I see where we are getting confused here. <laughs> when you say the word often, do you mean often a person who has lost his parents? Or often, frequently? Oh. <laughs> now I understand. I beg your pardon. Frequently. Yes, you said often, frequently. No, I only said it once. Yes, exactly. You said often, frequently, only once. Oh, kill him! <laughs>
members of our band, we do elect you. Woo! He's an orphan boy! He is a rock the orphan boy! And it sometimes is a useful thing to be an orphan boy. <laughs> before the tombs of my ancestors and to implore their pardon for having brought dishonor upon the family escutcheon. <laughs> Sir, you bought this property a year ago. The stucco in your baronial hall is barely dry. Frederick, in this chapel are ancestors. You cannot deny that. With the estate, I bought the chapel and its contents. I don't know whose ancestors they were, but but I know whose ancestors they are. <laughs> and I shudder to think that their descendant by purchase, if I may so describe myself, should have brought disgrace upon which I have no doubt was an unstained escutcheon. <laughs> Be comforted, sir. If you hadn't acted as you did, those reckless men would have found the nearest clergyman and married your large family right there on that spot. Oh, I thank you for your profit, solace. But it is unavailing. I assure you, Frederick, such is the anguish and remorse that I feel at the abominable falsehood by which I have escaped these easily deluded pirates. Oh, that I would go to their simple-minded chief this very night and confess all. Did I not fear that the consequences <laughs> would be most disastrous to myself? <laughs> 
time does your expedition march against these scoundrels? At 11. But before midnight, <coughs> I will have atoned for my involuntary association with the pestilent scourges by wiping them from the face of the earth. And then, Mabel, we'll be together. Are your devoted followers at hand? They are. They only await my orders. Then, Frederick, let your escort, lion-hearted, be summoned to receive a general's blessing. Here yeah, they depart upon their dread adventure. Yes, sir, they come. Woo! And the foreman bears his steel. Tarantara, tarantara. We uncomfortable feel. Tarantara. And we find the wisest thing. Tarantara, tarantara. Is to swap for just and sing. Tarantara. For one threat with a mute. Tarantara, tarantara. And your heart is in your boot. Tarantara. There is nothing brings it round like the trumpet's martial sound. Like the trumpet's martial sound. Tarantara, 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 tarantara.
I, circumstances, victim, have been guilty. <laughs> Young Frederick, who calls your late commander. And I, your little Ruth. Oh, oh mad intruders, how dare you face me? Know ye not, O oh, rash ones, that I have doomed you to extermination? Have mercy on us. Hear us ere you slaughter. I do not think I ought to listen to you. <laughs> Yet mercy shall avoid our stern resentment. <laughs> and so I will be merciful. <laughs> Sing on. <laughs> When you had left our power and fall, we tried to raise our spirits faint. According to our custom, all the quips and fiddles quaint. But all in vain, the quips we heard, we learned so to follow the wrong. Until to somebody occurs, darkening paradox. A paradox. A paradox, the most ingenious paradox that could sing with all certain facts. A paradox, a paradox, a most ingenious paradox. <laughs> this paradox. We knew your taste for curious quips and cranks and contradictions queer. And with the laughter on our lips, we wished you there to hear. We said if we could tell it him, how Frederick would the joke enjoy. And so we risked both life and limb to tell it to our boy. That paradox, that paradox, the most ingenious paradox, with quips and quibbles heard in flocks, but none between this paradox. <laughs> a paradox, a paradox, the most ingenious paradox. <laughs> this paradox. <laughs> For some ridiculous reason, to which, however, I've no desire to be disloyal. Some person in authority, who? I don't know who, <laughs> very likely the astronomer royal, has decided that although for such a beastly month this February, 28 days as a rule are plenty, one year in every four, his days shall be numbered as nine and twenty. Through some singular coincidence, I shouldn't be surprised if it were owing to the agency of an ill-natured fairy. <laughs> You are the victim of this clumsy arrangement, having been born in leap year on the 29th of February. And so, by a simple arithmetical process, you will easily discover that although you've lived 21 years, if we go by birthdays, you're only five and a little bit over. <laughs> See? Yes, yes, with yours my figures do agree. <laughs> How quaint the ways of paradox. Had common sense she gaily mocks. Though counting in the usual way years, 21 I've been alive. Yet reckoning by my natal day. Yet reckoning by my natal day. One, two, three, one. <laughs>
would apprentice to us. Until my 21st year. No, 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 my lad. Until your 21st registered <laughs> birthday. And if we go by birthdays, you are as yet only five and a quarter. You're not saying you're going to hold me to that. No, 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 no. We merely remind you of the fact and leave the rest to your sense of duty. Your sense of duty. <laughs> Don't put it on that foot. As I was merciful to you just now, I'm begging you to be merciful to me and not to insist upon the letter of your bond. This is the cup of happiness that's at my lips. Oh, no, no, no. We insist on nothing. We merely content ourselves with reminding you of your duty. Your duty. Well, you've appealed to my sense of duty. My duty's only too clear. I abhor your infamous calling. I, I shudder the thought that I've ever been mixed up with it. But alas, duty comes before all. And as you well know, at any price, I will do my duty. Bravely spoken, lad. Come, you are one of us once more. <laughs> Lead on. I shall follow. Oh, <laughs> What is the matter? I just say it. No. Again, as a member of their band, try to keep it. Should Speak out! By that sense of conscientiousness to which we have never yet appealed in vain. Very well. Um. <laughs> hey, General Stanley, the father of my Mabel. Yes. He escaped from you on the plea that he was an orphan, and he did. Yes, you were there. <laughs> we were all there. We sang a song. Do it, do it, boy. Boy, I got it. Okay. Yeah. It breaks my heart to betray the honored father of the girl I love so dear. Break it. <laughs> General Stanley, the father of my Mabel. He is no orphan. <laughs> what? More than that, he never was one. <laughs> <clears throat> Am I to understand that to save his contemptible life, he dared to practice upon our credulous simplicities? Yes. <laughs> oh. Our revenge will be swift and merciless. We collect our band and attack Tremorton Castle this very night. Let's just stay and be calm. Not a word! He is doomed! Away, away, my heart's on fire. I burn this base deception to repay. This very night, my vengeance dire. Shall blood itself, I'm gone away, away. Away, away, ere I expire. I find my duty hard to do today. My heart is filled with tensions dire. It strikes me to the core away, away. With falsehood valley tricked us of our brides. Let vengeance how the pirate so decides. Our nature stern he softened with his lies. And in return, tonight the traitor dies. Yes, yes, tonight the traitor dies. Yes, yes, yes tonight the traitor dies. Tonight he dies. Yes, sir, early tomorrow. This girl's like lies. The one soft spot. And all the plot. To abuse it shall perish. Tonight he dies. Yes, sir, early tomorrow. His girl's like wise and will in sorrow. The one soft spot. And they think that they cherish. And all the plot. To abuse it shall perish. Away, away, away. Tonight the traitor dies. Away, away, tonight.
I have age will be, I'll then return and claim you, I declare it. <laughs> That 
That is not a pleasant way of putting it. <laughs> no matter, for he will not so lead you, for he has allied himself once more with his former associates. He has acted shamefully. No, you speak falsely. You know nothing about it. He has acted nobly. He has acted nobly. Oh, dearly as I loved him before, this heroic sacrifice to his sense of duty has endeared him to me tenfold. But if he must constitute himself my foe, then it is my duty to regard him in such light. Yes. He has done his duty, and I will do mine. Go ye, and do yours. Right, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> this is perplexing. We cannot understand it at all. No matter, our course is clear. We must do our best to capture these pirates alone. It is most distressing to us to be the agents whereby our erring fellow creatures should be deprived of that liberty which is so dear to us all. But we should have thought of that before we joined the force. <laughs> we should. It is too late now. It is. For a long time the pirates we tired of tossing up the sea. I find a hand of burglary with weapons in my glory. Hush, hush, I hear them on the manor coaching. With stealthy steps the pirates are approaching. For a long time the pirates we tired of tossing up the sea. I find a hand of burglary. We seek a penalty fiftyfold for General Stanley Story. They seek a penalty fiftyfold. We seek a penalty fiftyfold. We seek a penalty fiftyfold for General Stanley Story. They come in force with stealthy stride. Our obvious course is now to hide. Cat-like tread upon our brain we steal. In silent shred, our cautious way we feel. No sound at all. We never speak a word. A fly's footfall would be distinctly heard. Trapped off. Trapped off. Iron trees while the house so soundly sleeps. Come, friends who bow the sea. Trust in navigation, take another station. Let's tarry piracy with the little burglary. Come, friends who bow the sea. Trust in navigation, take another station.
see a light inside. The major general comes. So that's all hot. <laughs> yes, yes. The major general comes. Yes, yes. The major general comes. Yes, yes. The major general comes. I lay upon my sleepless bed and toss and turn and groan. The man who finds his conscience ache no peace at all enjoys. And as I lay in bed awake, I thought I heard a noise. He thought he heard a noise. No, all is still in Dale on Hill. My mind is set at ease. So still the sea, it must have been the sighing of the breeze. <laughs> Softly to the river comes the loving breeze, setting nature all a quiver, rustling through the trees. Through the trees, and the brook in rippling measure, thus for very long, while the poplars in the pleasure. Oh! <laughs> 